first of all, looking back at last weekend against Dumbarton, what was your overall thoughts on the draw? Ah, it was poor. It was a uh, we were poor. Um, I think maybe seven or eight of us weren't at the races, and uh, um, we've probably done well to get a draw. We were we were underperformed, you know. When you go into games like that and you don't play as well, but you do come out with results, is that the biggest positive players could take? Yeah, we've got to take days? some positive from it. I think. Um, I think obviously getting a draw at the game, and uh, we actually probably could have nicked it, nicked it an effort and. Um, when you play bad and you, you normally tend to lose, so it's good to get some from the game. So if there's any positive to take, we'll take that point and move on to the next one. People will look at the month of November and say that, apart from the winning the cup against Queen's Park, the league has maybe started a little bit, but there's been no defeats as well. So on that side of it, maybe it's been a bad month on terms of not winning, but you are still picking up points and you are still grinding out results. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we prefer wins than draws, but um, we're trying hard. We know it. We know we're not as fluent as we were at the start, but we're working hard to put that right. Twenty-three points out of forty-two after fourteen league games. Is that a good start in your opinion? Yeah, I think we've had a solid start. I think um, we always look back with regrets and think we could have had more points here. We could have had more points in this game, but I think we got to look forward now and. Um, Got, we've got a lot of good fixtures coming up this month, so we're looking forward to them. Heading into this part of the season, you've formed a good partnership with Nat Weatherburn. Do you feel you complement each other well? Yeah, I think so. I think we're complete opposites, um, and and he's a, he's a good player to play with, and <coughs> hopefully we can we can go on from strength to strength. But there's a lot of good midfielders at the club, and um, <coughs> we need to, um, no matter who plays, we need to form that relationship to, to help the team. Heading into Tannadice on, on Saturday, you'll know how tough a place that is to go to. What kind of game are you expecting? Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Um, I don't think they're in great form themselves, so I think something's got to give. We're, we're positive, we've had a good week's training and we've worked on trying to correct a few things from last week and uh, hopefully you'll see the best of us on Saturday. People look at it and say, I win would put you just a point behind them and keep you in the title hunt. Is that how the, the players look at it? Yeah, I think obviously it's very early to be um, <clears throat> looking at at titles and and think. I think you just got to collect as much points as you can at the turn of the new year and then have a right push from there. So we got to be in a good good position to do that. And just to finish off, what would your message be to the fans watching us ahead of Dundee United? I think they just got to come and get behind the team. The lads, the lads really benefit from from their support and they've been great all season. So um, we need that to continue and <clears throat> the players need to give the fans something more to shout about and in recent times but we're we're working hard to try and put it right.